This is a demonstration on blood typing. For blood typing, we're doing a forward typing reaction where we're looking at the antigens that are on the red blood cells, the erythrocytes. The way we do this, we compare it by using anti-sera, anti which has antibodies to those antigens. First thing we do is prepare one of the two smaller fingers. They have fewer nerves, so it shouldn't hurt as much. Go to the side of the finger. Put a couple of drops of blood in each of the wells. And then I'm going to use the anti-sera that correlate to what you see on the wells. I have A, B, and RH. RH is our anti-D. The color of the anti-sera doesn't matter. What we're looking for is a reaction, and that reaction is called agglutination. This is different from blood clotting. For blood clotting, you have fibrin and fibrinogen that are reacting inside of a blood vessel, and that's what's stopping the bleeding. This is very different. We're looking for clumping based on an antigen antibody reaction. So I just mix them up. And for agglutination, I'm looking for a sandy type appearance. If it goes right into solution, then there's no reaction. So by rocking it back and forth, I'm looking for it to clump up. That's the agglutination. Again, this is very different from what you would see in clotting. They're two very different reactions. You can start to see it now. For RH. And for the B. You can see on the B, there's a little bit of sand-like reaction. For A, there's nothing. It just looks like the anti-sera. It hasn't done anything. It's just mixed in with the blood. And then for B, I'm sorry, the RH factor, you can see it in the middle. So you're looking for a grainy or sandy appearance. So for the blood type, for this sample, A is negative, B is positive, my RH factor is positive. So this person is B positive.